Morning Hawks, I'm freshman Sarah Lawson. Today is Thursday, June 10th, and today is an A-Day. Keep watching today's show to find out about... Today's uh, students of the day are Allison and Jordan and Neil. Stay tuned to hear about another feature, an update on weather, an update on sports, and more Hawks news. Hey Hawks, I'm Junior Parker Wolf, and yesterday was Senior Activity Day, taking place in the gym, the student parking lot, and the fields near the baseball and softball fields. This day was packed with lots of activities for the seniors. Things like inflatable obstacle courses, bouncy houses, dunk tanks, and yard games were all options students had to choose from. This day was also catered by boomers for the seniors to have a lunch together and ice cream after. A few weeks ago, seniors filled out a Google form nominating their classmates for senior superlatives awards, the Senior Superlative Awards, and yesterday these awards were announced. All the seniors that I talked to yesterday said that they had a great time and thank you to all the staff that made yesterday possible. Now let's head over to Brooklyn for weather. I'm sophomore Brooklyn Bassing here with your weather report. Today we are expecting a high of 84 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. The sky will be mostly sunny with a few clouds. For those of you that love to tan, the UV index is expected to reach a high of 9. However, make sure to protect yourself from getting burned. For all athletes, make sure to stay hydrated for any outdoor activity in this heat. Now over to Angeli for more news. Hey Hawks, I'm sophomore Angeli Mangalagiri here to deliver today's sports. Tonight, the girls' softball team takes on Horseheads in their sectional championship game at 5. I caught up with some of the girls on the softball team to see how they felt about sectionals and their season as a whole, and here's what they had to say. Okay, um, hi, my name is Molly Whalen, and I guess I'm talking about softball. So, as you can tell, I'm on the softball team. <laughs> so, this season so far, so we have sectionals tomorrow. It's the night before sectionals, and really we're just preparing for what we're going to see. We've played Horsets twice already, and we already know like their lineup pretty well, and we know some of their weaknesses and what their strengths are. So really, we've just been focusing on what they're good at and what they're not, and implementing that into our practices, so we're more prepared for that. And we're also focusing more on our hitting specifically, because we know this year, it's just the way we are going to win ball games is by hitting the ball, because we have a lot of, lot of home run hitters on our team. So that's how we're going to win. So we've really just been working on that this whole season. Um, and yeah, just trying to do what we did in 2019 and win as much as we can. Yeah, that's it. Tomorrow's a big game for us, sectional finals against Horseheads, who we have gone one and one with for the season, our only loss. And we're just going to come out hard, ready to play at our home field with all of our home fans. So as everyone already knows, this was a shortened season and we had our first game after only two weeks of practice. Coming back from having a season off was a little rocky, but each and every one of us on the team worked hard and pushed ourselves and each other to do the best we could. We ended up winning our first game and here we are, the number one seed with a 9-1 to record going into this sectional championship game. I am proud of every one of my teammates for all the effort and time they have given to this season and hopefully we end with a win. Good luck at your game tonight, and stay tuned for tomorrow's show to find out if our team won or not. Now let's head over to Brooklyn, or Jillian for more news. What up Hawks, I'm junior Jillian Austin here to deliver more Hawk news. Today I'll be recognizing the 12th graders that made high honor roll. And the best part is I'll be randomly selecting five students from each grade level to win a prize which you can claim from Mrs. Wilson. Now, without further ado, let's see who today's winners are. Our first winner is... Emily Harvey. Our next winner is... Hunter Newman. Our next winner is Tatum Treadwell. Our next winner is
Tate and Ryan. And our final winner is... Joshua Smith. Congratulations to all of our winners. Make sure you go see Mrs. Wilson to claim your prize. Now here is Haley with more news. Hey Hawks, I'm sophomore Haley Morris here with senior Caitlin Drake, who played Katherine Dawson in this past weekend performance of Dear Corona to get her perspective of the show and the journey behind it. So my first question is a little bit based on the fact that everything seems to keep getting back to what we were used to before the pandemic. How did it feel to finally be back on the stage performing for a real in-person audience? It was really nice to get back on the stage. Theater has always been my place. I really love the stage. So having the opportunity to bring a character to life and um, get comfortable on the stage again was really nice, especially because it's my senior year. So yeah. Ooh. And because Dear Corona was an original show, what was it like to getting to bring a character to life that had never been before, other than in the director's head. So it was very difficult. I had to work very hard with the directors because they had a very specific image in their head of what they wanted Catherine to be. Um, and even up to opening night, we were still working on what we wanted the character to be. But it was a very creative process and something that I will never forget. It's so special, so. So what was your favorite part about the production and the process that went behind making it to come to life? Um, my favorite part was really creating my family. Like the Dawson family, we're a really tight group of friends now. I have two freshmen and two juniors um, that are part of my group and having that group to emotionally support me the whole entire time because it was very difficult um, was really nice and it helped the show come to life. Yeah. And now my final question for you is a bit more emotional. As a senior, are you glad that you got to perform one last time, even with all the obstacles brought upon everyone involved in the show because of COVID? Um, I, I would say yes, 100%. Being able to get back on the stage again was really nice. And I don't think the mask really added much except for the fact that the whole entire show was about COVID. So um, I, I think it was really nice to get back on the stage and be with my friends again. So. Well, thank you, Caitlin, for joining us and sharing your experience with us. Now over to Erin to wrap up the show. Hey Hawks, I'm sophomore Erin Sweeney. Thanks for tuning in to CPP TV, your daily source of news around the nest. If you would like more information about the show, follow our Instagram at cpp.tv and Twitter at cpp underscore TV. If you missed the show today or any previous shows, you can check them out on our YouTube channel at cpp TV. Thanks for watching and have a great day.